Bad fact, but the holidays are not over and we have to head back to our classroom. So if you're like me and so many other teachers, it may be something very hard for you to do because you really enjoyed the holidays and you're experiencing that post-holiday slump. So what can you do to get yourself back in the mood to go back into your classroom? But that's what we're going to talk about today on 2 Q Classroom. I'm not going to waste your time, so we're going to get right into the video. One of the first things you can do is begin to get yourself back in tune with your bedtime schedule. What do I mean? Well, some of us took a little break from getting up at certain times of the day while we were out for the holidays. If you happen to be one of those people, then you know how hard it is to get back into the groove of getting up on time. Well, you start by starting a couple of days ahead, getting yourself back into the routine with going to bed at your set time and getting up at a set time. This will make the transition not so difficult as it can be. Also, you want to go ahead and reflect. You might want to do some reflection on your school year so far. What things did you do well and what things that you do, did not do well? Stop and think about it. You might want to get yourself a journal, a gratitude, or even a reflection journal. I have a reflection journal that's for sale on Amazon, but it's a back-to-school reflection journal. I can make one for the post-holiday slow, and I think I will. So by the time this is released, be sure to go by and check out Amazon and see if I have one. But you know yourself, it's hard to get back into the mood. And sometimes we need to do a stop. We need to pause and see what things we did well and what things were successful and what things just really were not. So sometimes we need to do a reflection before we head back into our classroom. We also need to do an evaluation of our priorities. Make sure you have your priorities straight and your workload down pat before you go back to work. Those much needed two weeks, hey, they have come and gone. And so now it's time to go back. But it should that you don't get so tired and exhausted as you go through the rest of the school year. Make sure you're doing the things that you need to do to ensure that you're not looking at all that paperwork home. If you have not watched my videos on how to only work 20 hours, only work contract hours, be sure to check that out. I do also have some blog posts on that, so be sure to read those. But we have to ensure that we are taking care of ourselves as we are working these last couple months of school. When we neglect our health, when we neglect ourselves in order to get it all done, we end up getting very little done. Tell you a story. True. Uh, right before the holidays, I got sick with the flu. So if you have, if you watch my channel regularly, you'll notice that the video stopped for a while. They didn't stop for a long period of time, but there was a pause in them. It's because I was sick. I was sick and I had to come to the realization of that I just wasn't going to get done some of the things that I had wanted to get done before the holidays or get done in time for the holidays. So I had to give myself permission to be sick. I had to give myself permission not to get it all done. Sometimes we have to give ourselves permission not to get everything done, not to be super warm and not to be super mad, but to relax and to reset and refocus ourselves because we are just as important as what we do in our classroom. So my next tip for you is going to be set realistic goals for yourself. Be sure that you're setting goals that are, are accomplishable and not something that's way out in deep space now. You know, I'm guilty too. I get up in the morning, I come with this really, really long to-do list. All these things that I want to do, all these things I want to get done, all these things that are so important. Well, like I said, I was sick a little right before the holidays and it was pretty bad. So when you get sick and you're down, you realize if you don't take a break, your body's going to take one for you. You uh, you you figure out what is most important and what's not. So when you're setting your goals, set something realistic. Be realistic with your goals. As you get ready to head back into your classroom, know what your goals are. Know how you're going to accomplish them. That means come up with a plan. Don't just say, I have a goal and I'm going to do it. No, come up with a plan for how you're going to get that goal accomplished and work from there. Before we go any further with this video, if you have not already, please give this video a like, a thumbs up, and that you subscribe so I continue to give you more teaching tips and hacks. And I will see you 
back in the video. Be sure that you incorporate some self-love and self-care. That you take some time off to do the things that you love and enjoy. And I don't mean to take time off work because you just had to. Week. But what I'm saying is take some time. Make sure you're not overloading your schedule, like I said, with the setting realistic goals. But make sure you plan in time to practice some self-care. Do your hobbies. Do the things that you love. Do the things that you enjoy. Make sure that it's on your to-do list. If it's reading a book, read that book. If it's to sit there and binge watch TV like I do, binge the favorite show, go ahead and do it because it'll make you feel better. My last tip I'm going to give you as we get ready to go back into our classroom from the holiday, connect with your colleagues, connect with your friends, your teacher buddy, whoever it is, connect. Make some connections. Find a teacher that is good at what you're doing. Y'all might want to do some team teach or share ideas, or share lesson plans, do something. You don't have to shelter it along. You are not an island. I can remember when I first started teaching, someone told me that and I kept thinking, right. And at that time, I was really deep into those teacher competitions, which are really not good for you. I have an older video on that. You can be sure to check it out. Teacher competition, uh-uh. We need to form camaraderie if if the years that just passed, and I'm not going to say what they were, taught us anything, it was that we need each other. We are important to one another. So let's make sure that we're connecting with our colleagues. We're practicing self-care. We're setting realistic goals. We're giving ourselves permission to not get it all done, that we have our priorities straight, that we're going home on time, and that we take the time to rest and reflect on what we need to do. So, guys, I thank you so much for listening. This has been the Wonder Shields to Classroom. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And back in your classroom.